Hey guys and welcome to our 12th Stacking the Shelves video. We have a variety of ebooks, physical books, bought books, and even books from the library. First we're going to talk about the ebooks and we have a couple but we're going to go really quickly uh, with them because we have too many books to talk about. The first book is The Book of Broken Hearts by Sarah Ockler. April Henry is the girl who was supposed to die. This book is a thriller where the girl um, was supposed to die but then she doesn't and it was amazing. It's pretty short and I really really enjoyed it. Sounds really cool. Yeah, it does. I think I'm gonna buy it as soon as it comes out. Burning by Elena K. Arnold. Another little piece by Carius Quen. Oops, by Kate Carius Quen. This book is one confusing book. Expect to get really confused when you read this book, but it was a really good book in is the end. Is it a standalone? Yes, it is a standalone and it is like mystery yeah. kind of thriller. The next book is Cassandra Rose Clark's uh, The Pirate's Wish. This is the second book in the uh, Assassin's Curse uh, duology. I already read this and it was a pretty good ending to this duology and I recommend all you adventure um, readers to pick this book up. A dystopian that I got was The Testing by Joel Charbonneau, Louis Rosette's um, Confessions of an Almost Girlfriend. This book was funny, it was even better than the first book and I really enjoyed it and the ending was... I did too. Of, yeah, you read the first one, you should definitely read this one and the ending was like horrible, like I want the third book right now if I could, but I have to wait one more year. The last book is Kirsten White's The Chaos of the Stars. The Chaos The Chaos of Stars. I know this book is Greek mythology and I read the synopsis and the girl by the way is called Isadora. Oh. And um this uh, it sounds pretty interesting. Uh to my ebooks that I got. The first one is 45 pounds more or less by K.A. Barson. This was actually a wow pick and it sounded really interesting since it's not, it doesn't look like your typical YA book and especially the cover looks really cute. It does. So I'm excited for it. The next book is Right of Way by Lauren Bornhold. Me and Johanna have been really excited for this one. I mean, what more do you want other than beach and road trip and summer? And sort of like a companion novel to Two Way Street. Exactly. Now the last ebook that I got is one that I've been dying to get and I've finally got it and it is Fire with Fire by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I read Burn for Burn um, like last year I think and I devoured it in one day and it was so addicting and I'm just excited that I got approved. Now moving on to our physical books. If you've checked last week we uploaded a video about this Penguin Fall Preview Recap. We went to this event and we got some awesome books and so we're just gonna mention them and we got a final copy of The Gypsy King by Maureen Fergus and we also got to see the cover reveal and an arc of A Fool's Iran by Maureen Fergus. This is, this is a sequel to The Gypsy King and we actually got to see the cover reveal for the first time so it was awesome. we met the author which was pretty cool. The last book that we got was actually a prize from Penguin so thank you and it is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Now off to the review books that we got from the publishers. The first book is School Spirits by Rachel Hawkins. We got this book from uh, HBG Canada and um, I'm actually in the middle of reading it. This book is a spin-off to Rachel Hawkins' um, Hex Hall trilogy and the author is actually coming here on May 25. So uh, HBG sent us an arc to read it before the event basically. Yay! Yeah, and it's pretty good so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. Though I heard there's not going to be a sequel anymore. So that's, that's, that's kind of sad. The next book that we got was a book from Kensington Teen and it was Spirit by Bridget Kemmerer. This is the third book in the Elemental series. It is not a trilogy, so yeah. But I'm in love with this series and I seriously cannot wait to get my hands into like Spirit and get into it. And this one comes out on um, June 2013. The next book is actually a new adult book that I uh, was pitched to by Atria from Simon & Schuster, which is basically an imprint of Simon & Schuster, and it is The Sea of Tranquility by Katja Millay. The Sea of Tranquility was amazing. I managed to read it under a day, and it's around 420 pages. This is the reason why I love new adult books, and it comes out on June 4th. 
So any new adult fans, you really need to read this book or like pre-order it or buy it as soon as it comes out. How Our Last Year is a contemporary novel about two best friends who drift apart and I know a lot of people were able to relate to this book and that's why a lot of people loved it. Everyone pretty much had a friend who they drifted apart from. Yeah, and this is life. I've also read The White Kiss by Janet Gertler, which I really enjoyed. So I hope I'll enjoy this one too. The next book is actually a book that I squealed over when I got, and it is Truly Madly Deadly by Hannah Jane. As soon as I read the synopsis for this book, I had goosebumps. It was so creepy, and here's the synopsis. They said it was an accident. Sawyer Dodd is a star athlete, star, straight A student, and the envy of every other girl who wants to date Kevin Anderson. When Kevin dies in a tragic car crash, Sawyer is stunned. Then she opens her locker to find a note. You're welcome. Someone saw what he did to her. Someone knows that Sawyer and Kevin weren't the perfect couple they seemed to be. And that someone, a killer, is now shadowing Sawyer's every move. This is just such a creepy book and it's pretty short so um, and I'm loving every single uh, thriller book that I got from Renko so far. The next book that we got is Snap Decision Maybe Tonight by Brady Clark. Now I don't know much about this book all other than it's a contemporary, it looks cute and, and it's set in boarding in a boarding school. Yeah and it's pretty short so just excited. Next is Confessions of a Hater by Caprice Crane. As soon as we got the newsletter from Raincoast and I saw this cover, I just had to get the book. And even when I read the synopsis, it sounded really cool. It's a contemporary, set in a high school. Just the type of book that you need to get a break from all these scary and like dark books. So I'm really excited for this one. It also says here, mean girls are always the haters, right? So I guess it talks about a mean girl. The next book is another book that I've been dying to get my hands on it because it's a sequel and oh, here it is. Siege and Storm by Lee Verdugo. This is the sequel to Shadow and Bone and just... <sighs> this book, these books, like this trilogy or the series, the world building is amazing. You have these amazing characters and oh my god, it's just amazing and it's perfect and it's, it has also been blurred by Veronica Roth, so you all you Dead Magic fans better check it out. That was it for this one. Yay! Another book we got from Raincoast is Skyfire by Emmy Laybourne. This is the second book of Monument 14, which is a post-apocalyptic survival book and it is told from a male POV. However, Monument 14 is told from two male POVs and they're both brothers. One is 16, I think, and the other one is 13. I'm really, well, I already read this book, I can't say I'm really excited. I was really excited when I got this book and I read it and I devoured it and it's only two 12 pages and it was awesome and all survival fans, you need to read this series. The last book that we got from Raincoast is one that I've read and one that I cherish deeply. And it gave an infinity rating. Which never happens, never. I think it's the first in 2013 and it's just one that's very close to the heart and I just can't. I'll take hours just describing my love for it and it is If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. I already told you how much I love this book and I just I just have to say that any people who are into contemporary should totally check this one out. It's an amazing book that everyone should read. But expect to cry a lot. Expect to cry. The last review book that we got for the past month and a half is Rochelle Mead's Game Board of the Gods. Um, we got this book from Penguin, so thank you Penguin, and it is actually a new adult dystopian, uh, the beginning of a new adult dystopian trilogy or series. And it's a new series by Rochelle Mead. The series is actually called Age of X, and um, I heard that it's told from three POVs and it's pretty awesome because everyone loves Rochelle Mead and her writing, so I'm pretty excited. This will actually be my first Rochelle Mead book, so yeah, party everyone. We also got a couple of library books and they're actually all mine. And the first one is Half Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Everyone's been spazzing about this book and I just said I had to try it out, so here I got it and hope I'm gonna try it soon. Yeah. The next book is The Disenchantments by Neil Lacour. This is a road trip and it's a contemporary and that's exactly what I liked. But I I think this boy POV thing kind of puts, puts me off. off. Yeah. yeah, it puts me off, but I, I don't know. But I mean, male POV, some of them are really great, some of them just suck, so. But I love the cover and it's blurred by Gail Foreman. 
Ooh! The last library book that I got is another contemporary, and it is Freshman Year and Other Unnatural Disasters by Meredith Zetlin. This sounds like an adorable contemporary book, and I just adore the cover. I love the little fake um, tea droplets yeah. and the umbrella. It's just so creative. I just love it, but I'm hoping I actually love what's inside, so. So these are all our um, library books, and we're just going to head off to the books that Johanna bought. I didn't buy anything. And one book that we won. So the first book was actually, it actually came as a surprise. We weren't expecting it in the mail, and it is... Apollyon by Jennifer L. Armitrop, the fourth book in the Lux, oops, sorry, in the Covenant series. And this is the first one. Yeah. I devoured Pure Deity and Apollyon last month. I love them so much and I can't wait for Sentinel and this book was just pure amazingness and I recommend every single person to try this series out. The next four books are books that I bought from Amazon and um, the first three are actually in preparation for Rachel Hawkins uh, signing Yay! and they are Hex Hall, Demon Glass, oh, okay. yeah. Got it. <laughs> and Spellbound. So they're pretty cool covers. I love the covers! And they're paperbacks. I'm just glad I waited to get paperbacks. My sister already has the first and third book too, so I'm yeah. like there. Demon Glass in hardcover. Yeah, but I wanted my own so that I can they can get signed. I think I'm gonna buy the rest in hardcover though, I'm not sure. Yeah. Leave your comments below if you tell me if I should or not. Or if it's a waste of money. Yeah. The last book was actually uh, to complete my series that I owned and own and it is Sweep Volume Number Four by Kate Turnin. And the collection is complete. Yes, it's finally complete. And the reason why I bought this book is actually I am doing a readathon of this series in June with a Twitter friend. So I had to get all five. I want to join. So These are all the books that we got for the past month and a half. And um, you can link us below to your own book hauls, IMMs, Stack in the Shelves, and let us know if you guys have read any of these books or what you think about them or which ones you're actually excited for. And like this video if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Bye guys. Bye.